Hey there and welcome to How To Dino. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to use the embed feature within the reaction rules module. To begin, head over to the Dinobot website, dino.gg. Click on the manage service button, then select the server you'd like to manage. Let's head over to modules and then find reaction rules. Make sure the module is enabled. And from here, let's continue. Before continuing, I highly recommend watching the reaction modules video if you haven't already. That is where I go over the reaction rules module as a whole, and I get down to the details of all of these fields. In this video specifically, I'm going to focus on the embedded message function of the reaction rules module. So to begin, as usual, give your reaction rules a unique name for this Example, I have no other reaction rules here, so I'm free to use how to dino as my name. I must then select the channel. Please remember that selecting a channel is where the embed is going to send to. Now to send an embed or to start editing an embed rather, click on this option and we can now click on edit embed. As you can see, we have a few options here presented in front of us. Let's just add a title so we can go ahead and visualize our changes. So for this example, I'm just going to enter the title as welcome. And as you can see, we have a preview embed here. Our default color is this light gray, but to change it, we can click on this choose color option. And here we have some sliders. So we have sliders that actually change the color. And then we also have sliders that change the intensity. So if you want it a lighter shade or a more darker shade, to actually change the color, we can move this slider into our desired region. This will also change or determine whether the color is more lighter or darker. So let's go ahead and go with the green. So I want it to be a nice harsh green. So I'm gonna move this slider all the way up towards the top right. So it's a nice bright green. And the preview isn't really doing justice here but once we send it to the server this color we selected will show as intended titles are not necessary you can send an embed with just a description but it's usually nice to fancy up the embed so to speak so for this example i'm going to set the title to welcome to the server we also have another field right next to it that says title URL. For, with this field, you can paste in a link and have the title actually hyperlink to that link. So for example, I'm just gonna copy and paste our server dashboard link. And as you can see, this becomes a hyperlink, which I can then click on, including in the preview, but it'll work exactly the same in the server. Description is really where you put the body of your message. Now embeds do have a limit, so as of the making of, the, of this video, embeds generally have a character limit of 2048 characters. So I wouldn't really go making this embed too long, but usually inserting rules or stuff of that nature could probably fit within the description. This menu is also fitted with an adjuster in the bottom right hand corner where you can actually enlarge the field if you have a lot of text. I'm just gonna return that to normal. And just to have something in the body, I'm going to paste in the meaning of a bot. Our embed is really starting to come together. Now we have this section that says author. This section will actually overlap the title. So in some cases, you might want to either scrap the title entirely. I'm just going to go ahead and set the author as welcome. It doesn't necessarily have to be the person who made the embed. I just do it to make things look fancy. Along with this author section, we have this author icon. With this, you can actually paste image links that will show up right next to the text. So for this example, just to make the embed look pretty, I have the Dino logo. So I'm just going to paste it in. And as you can see, it shows up on our preview. We also have 
options for more image areas. So we have the thumbnail, which should go off to the right. And we have image, which takes up a lot more space. For this example, I'm not going to play with the image area. I'm just going to leave that blank because I think it takes up quite a bit of space. We'll leave in the thumbnail just to show off the Dino logo. Next up, we have the footer, which is at the bottom of the embed. Here you can enter stuff like, I don't know, maybe the person who created the embed, the server name, or whatever you like. It really doesn't matter. It's up to you and your server. So for this example, I'm just going to have the footer say how to dyno and then as well as uh, displaying the dyno logo. So this footer icon works similar to the author. The only difference is that it's located in the footer. The icon is in the footer. Next up, we have fields. With this, you can actually section off certain areas. So say you have, say you want this to be like a rules embed. We can have this first section be titled voice rules. So voice channel rules. And this is going to be in bold. The value is where you actually paste in whatever you want the body to be. So we'll just copy this message we have up here. This is also fitted with an adjuster. We can go ahead and paste that in. Shows up here in our preview. We can add another field and maybe call this one channel rules and paste in our rules. You also have access to a scroll bar depending on how much you input. Now there's also this inline option. With this option, you can have both of these messages fit onto a single line or a single row rather. So you have our voice channel rules here, channel rules here, and then maybe if you wanna add something else, you can also have that inline. But for this, since this is just a long body of, of text, it doesn't really seem necessary to have inline enabled. So I'm just gonna go ahead and disable this so everything can look nice and crisp. So with that, we have our embed. We can go ahead and save the embed. Okay, so once we've saved our embed, all that's left is to set our reaction rules. So let's go over under reaction settings, add a reaction. So for this example, I'm just gonna go ahead and add a thumbs up and have Dino assign the verified role. And all we have to do to send the embedded message is hit save. Once that's done, our embed has sent along with our reaction attached to the bottom. Now, if you ever want to edit the embed, just click on this edit embed button, do whatever you need to do, go ahead and save, and don't forget to hit save at the bottom. If you don't hit save at the bottom, nothing's gonna happen. So don't forget to hit save at the bottom after editing your embed or your reaction settings that goes for reaction settings, the options, anything edited within reaction rules must be saved. So don't forget to hit save. Now let's head over to Discord and see what our embed looks like. And here we are in Discord with our fancy embed. As you can see, we have the author up top along with the author icon, the title here as an external link. So this is hyperlinked. We have the thumbnail here, our description, our fields. So as I said earlier, the field name is in bold. And then we have our standard text. Same here, this is another field. Standard text, our footer, along with our footer icon, and our reaction role. Please keep in mind that you can also use Discord markdown features whether it is to bold specific items within the description, underline items, uh, italicize them. Discord Markdown can be used within embeds. So I've gone ahead and edited our embed in real time. And as you can see, we can even use code blocks within our embedded message. So Discord Markdown can be used within embeds. I went ahead and edited our title here to include a code block. So 
Discord Markdown can be used within these embeds. If you don't know how to use Discord Markdown, I will go ahead and link a resource down in the description. But other than that, this was an in-depth look into embedded messages within the Reaction Roles module. Hopefully you found this video helpful. Please leave a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe.